Hey everyone, Unfit Chaos here, and I'm coming to you from the PTR for Season 10 Highlanders in Conqueror's Blade. And this is just a quick video covering some of the quality of life changes and little things that I noticed uh, that are going to be coming in Season 10 that I hope you're super excited for. Once again, this is the PTR. Things are subject to change. First off, we're going to cover inventory. Now there is a tab system, as you may have seen in the article. But the way the tab system works is you have your normal inventory. You drag stuff around, you have it all organized. But say you want to look at a piece of equipment, if you have a giant mess of an inventory, you can just click hero and now it'll just list out all the hero items and only show those. You can also switch to items or hero materials as well. This will just help simplify things. Now for the wagon, they do have the same thing. If you just want to look at your siege stuff, hey, you just click siege. So this should hopefully simplify everything in your inventory. Now, I would love to see uh, quick tabs like this in supplies, but maybe someday, maybe that'll come. So inventory is a little bit easier for you if you have a messy inventory to see certain items. Next one that we're going to be looking at is actually with horses. Hay is gone. You no longer have to feed your horses. Very simple, nice quality of life change. They just removed it. It's removed from the store and you no longer have to deal with it. Thank you. It was just really not necessary. Um, the other one we're going to talk about is skills. Skills page has been completely reorganized. First off, mastery points are gone. They're going to be converted to skill points. There's only skill points now. So you don't have to worry about what weapon you're using and the fact that you spend all your time on the one weapon. So it makes it hard to unlock another weapon. Now you have simplified skill points only. You also notice the interface has changed. This is hopefully to make it a little bit more streamlined because now you can just see each ability in its own little tree with its own little upgrades. So hopefully this streamlines the process of getting skills. And they did change the shape of these based off of uh, the weapon a little bit. It's supposed to kind of relate. Some of them do, like musket with the crosshair, and some of them, like glaive, it's just lines. Either way, nice little change. I'm excited to not deal with mastery points because uh, sometimes I just really like to play my spear and I'm tired of converting points. Uh, the last thing we're gonna actually cover has to do with the battle pass, and that is now there is a get all button. This is a localization issue. This is supposed to be get all on current tab. Simply, um, if you have stuff unlocked like this on a tab, you hit this, you now get everything on that tab. Uh, so you only have to click this, you know, like a few times um, rather than a bunch of times. Uh, so for those of us who, you know, are like in the PTR or the people outside who buy stuff, it is way quicker to now get everything out of the battle pass. You don't have to deal with it. Uh, you do still have all your other stuff like your promotes, fortune favors, all that like normal. So these are just a few quick quality of life and simple things that I saw in game that I'm super excited about coming to season 10. I hope you are as well. If there's other stuff you want me to cover from the PTR while I'm on it, please let me know real quickly as I'm working to get videos. You'll see a, full, you'll see a few more videos coming out over the next few days. So hopefully uh, I get everything that you want done. With that, until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.